Hey Scruffy, how you doing? Ready for dinner? Want some food? Okay, that's a very quiet meow. But okay, that's a little better. So I got meaty pate with real chicken. So we're running low on uh, cans. I haven't ordered a new batch yet. So I'm going to have to do that soon. Ready for food? I'm blinking. Okay, well, I'm going to pick up the food, okay? Ready? So I'm going to open the screen. Okay. So grabbing the food. Inch. Still meowing, huh? Very quietly, though. So you got your food. Okay. So, inch towards the door here. Okay, good. We move back. Okay, so now, if you don't move back, then hiss at me. Okay, come through the door, I'm gonna put the food on the table, and I'm gonna get the water. Okay, got water. Close the door. And I'm walk past you and change your water. So how's your uh, battle wound going? Almost can see it. Okay, yeah, so just switching out your water. Okay, so putting in the new water now. Okay. So we're gonna sit in the chair. And we're gonna grab the glove. And you're fast. Oh, you're friendly tonight. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. So it stopped raining. Weather is still cold, but the sun came out today. So I read in the weather report that this will be the last or the lowest point of the cold for for now. So um, there's going to be a warming trend starting uh, tomorrow so <clears throat> it's going to gradually get warmer um, but then yeah I think it's going to sp spike up uh, a little bit so it's going to start feeling like uh, spring instead of uh, winter again I'm still yeah, kind of feeling kind of depressed, I guess. So, as I mentioned last night, and pretty much the only thing I talked about last night was uh, uh, trying to go to my aunt's uh, memorial. And I wanted to be there in person. 
but uh, I don't think they can make the logistics work. So I looked. So I gave it a couple more thoughts last night, but yeah, none of them really panned out. So I feel really bad that I can't be there in person, even though I have a week to get there. <clears throat> but because with all the travel restrictions and lockdowns and quarantines and other guidelines and rules, basically, I'm supposed to you know continue limiting my exposure, and so there are still quarantine rules. I don't know how well, strongly they're enforced, but I certainly should be uh, not trying to. make things worse and because the vaccine is still being rationed um, I'm not a I'm not any high priority candidate so I, I'm not going to be able to get it anytime soon so basically become resigned to the fact that yeah, I'm not going to be able to go. Um, I'll have to attend via Zoom. I guess, you know, it's going to have to suffice. So the immediate family didn't want, you know, say just because of all the social distancing rules and stuff, they won't actually be able to uh, post a re reception or whatever the term is for after, uh, after the memorial, which is kind of tradition. And so I totally understand that. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe it, it's also their way of saying don't feel bad about not being able to come in person to the memorial, but I don't know. So, yeah, I didn't really have any brilliant ideas. I don't travel much, so I'm not very experienced on the more clever things you can do. So I actually watched a YouTube video of uh, is Ryan Ryan Dusler, I think his name is. So he's a bicycle guru fanatic. <clears throat> and uh, so I guess his most recent trip, he biked the Great Divide, which is, I think, from Montana to New Mexico. So I guess there's a big, long trail uh, for bicycles. And they can uh, go the whole route just by uh, bike packing. And so I watched... Uh, He had, I guess, a compilation video of uh, a lot of moments from uh, his entire trip. So it's probably over an hour, I think it was over an hour long, maybe 
I forgot how it was kind of long, so so there are a lot of moments in there. <laughs> but yeah, very interesting trip. So fortunately, I'm nowhere near as uh, good shape as he is. I'd never make such a trip to where I need to go. But it was interesting, even with all the quarantine rules and stuff. Uh, so yeah, he made it all the way to New Mexico, but he had to stop at the border of New Mexico because I guess New Mexico was so clamped down that even by bicycle, the, the quarantine rules were too much for him. And, you know, kind of unreasonable. So. So if I had some more experience, I could try bike bike packing to my uh, destination. You know, probably, I don't know if I could do it <laughs> in a week. I don't know how long it would take by bicycle. And especially for me, who's probably uh, not cut out for such a thing. Assuming they don't die on the trip. I don't know how long it would actually take me. And then I don't really have the right equipment or experience or bicycle. So my old bicycle, I don't think would make it. It would be, it'd be, so it doesn't have the gearing I think I need. And it's a really heavy bicycle, so it would uh, work against me very long distances. And then it doesn't have all the mount points you need to put all your gear okay well I think we've run over but yeah Scruffy's been actually very uh, receptive to the petting tonight so I haven't been uh, feeling like I need to stop but uh, yeah I should food feed you so why don't we stop there and let's get your food okay ready for some food So I have two cans left. I got the, just the brush. So I got the um, real chicken and the real chicken and tuna. So I'm gonna have to order more very soon. So um, I was about to place the order with Walmart, I found a bunch of other food items I wanted to get, and uh, since I kind of went to Target already to get, uh, when I was looking for phone SIM cards, um, decided, yeah, prop Walmart has I think, the remaining things I want to get that Target doesn't have. So anyway, one of the things I was interested in was uh, some special Hershey's Special Dark Chocolate Syrup. So I've been starting to drink the protein shakes uh, as one of my meals. And it's... Uh, Actually, an old uh, jug my dad bought. I'm gonna switch brushes now. Um, he bought a flavor. It was Oreo cookie or cookies and cream or something like that. Yeah, cookies and cream, I think. And yeah, I don't really like that flavor too much. It doesn't really taste like cookies and cream to me. It's like a very, very, very bad impression of cookies and cream. <laughs> and so one of the things I think of uh, cookies and cream, well, two things. So one, I think of chocolate cookies, chocolate being the emphasis, and the other one's cream. And this really doesn't have either. So I was thinking, though, some chocolate flavor might help it. 
So yeah, I'm supposed to be on a diet, so I gotta watch how much added sugar and crap I add to my food, but I thought maybe a little bit of a chocolate syrup might uh, make me a little happier. So I've had you know, the regular Hershey's cheese chocolate syrup. I, th I stumbled upon the special dark variant and I haven't had that before, and I was kind of hoping maybe it would be dark chocolate. I actually prefer dark chocolate better, and if they do dark chocolate right, they tend to put less sugar in it, so it's not nearly as unhealthy. It's, I mean, I wouldn't call it healthy, but it's not necessarily as bad. So I'm going to brush your tail. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's see if the brush down. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I ordered a bunch of, or I put all this stuff in my shopping cart. So I have, uh, I have, I have uh, special dark stuff, the cat food. I put a couple different Cajun powders in there. I think I might have the Louisiana uh, hot sauce, maybe. I can't remember. Um, what else was I looking into? I was looking at the sunscreen, but I think Target actually has better sunscreen. And I'm on the fence about uh, kidney beans. Um, Target has cheaper kidney beans, cans of, cans, uh, of uh, kidney beans than uh, Walmart. But the problem with Target is you have to ship it. Yeah. My, my, prop, my, my past history of Target shipping canned food was they got severely damaged in shipping and basically they're unusable by the time you get them. So, fill up the orders thinking, well, I might be able to more for some beans from Walmart just because I don't really <clears throat> want to try shipping them to Target. I could pick them up in person, but. So last time I was on my bicycle, so I can carry all heavy stuff when I'm uh, biking. And so canned can food's kind of uh, on the heavier side. But anyway, uh, had a bunch of stuff ready to go. And then uh, I think, yeah, I left it in my car overnight. And then the next day, the thing tells me that the special dark syrup is no longer available and um, I'm puzzled <laughs> why you know why they're out of that and then I looked for alternatives on Walmart and they have like third-party sellers and they're they've all jacked up their prices so I guess there's like some massive chocolate syrup shortage or something <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on but it's ridiculous how much uh, one, how much uh, people are selling the Hershey's Special Dark for, and two, um, and how, how hard it is to find why people don't have it. So I don't know what's going on. Let's chalk it down to more uh, supply shortages caused by all the lockdown, I guess. So, so now I had my heart on, set on uh, chocolate syrup, so I'm kind of waiting. What are, are they going to get more in so I can place an order and I'll get it? Or are you going to be out for a long time? I don't know. So I'm stalling right now. I'm hoping to get more syrup in soon. But i got to place the order soon. I'm going to run out of cat food. So I think i got about a week. I don't know how long shipping is going to take. But i got some extra cans of cat food from uh, my neighbor. So if I ran out, I, I, I still have back that. Kind of expecting to get the order in by now. So today I saw Scruffy sleeping in a different part of the section of deck. Uh, so it's, uh, so he was so where my uh, pull-up bar is. So there's a shelf that we uh, that we keep out there. And he was on top of everything, and I put blankets on it to 
also keep the soot and dust and dirt and, uh, contaminated here on the shelf. So he was sleeping on top of the blankets, uh, completely oblivious to me. I didn't open the door, I just opened on the blinds. So this was early in the morning. So I didn't see him out near the rocks or on the deck. So I decided to check that. So maybe he's like sleeping there in the night or in the morning. So unfortunately he was still turned away from me. So I can't see his underside. Let's look at his injuries. And then I think around noon he finally came out and he was sleeping under the round table pretty much the entire afternoon. So usually he moves around quite a bit. So he'll be in different parts of the deck all day. But today he was pretty much under that round table all afternoon. Until so maybe so maybe a half hour before dinner. And he came over and was sleeping on the mat here next to the door. So he actually slept. Um, so usually he's been like awake waiting for me, but yeah, today he decided to sleep. But I think maybe it's because the sun was setting later and later, so he's gonna sleep closer, or he's gonna sleep later, basically, tied with the sun. And he wakes up around sunset. So, our, so I haven't changed the feeding times, so we're actually going to get more daylight as uh, time goes on here. And so it may start cutting into his sleep time since he'll have to wake up earlier to get fed. Unless I push back the feeding time to accommodate him. So I don't know. I might do that. I don't know. Depends how generous I'm feeling. Eventually, this summer, I'm expecting um, the heat's going to get bad again, so we'll actually want to do it later. Because, yeah, the later in the evening, the more it's had a chance to cool down. But we're still in winter here, so it's on and off. This is also good news for Scruffy that I'm not going uh, to the memorial because I wouldn't be able to feed him that day because I basically have to leave really early in the morning and then I get back really late at night and I'll probably be exhausted. So probably leave out some kibble when I leave. But he's going to have to ration it because it's breakfast that's the last all the way through the next day because that's also his dinner but it doesn't look like I'm traveling so you can see he doesn't have to worry about that interesting he's coming back He's not very good at cleaning his uh, bowl. Kind of expected him to be better at that. So that big long feeding session we had the other day, we've been having a hard time uploading it, so it's sent me back a couple days of uploading. Finally, finally finished, but now I got a couple days of other videos I gotta upload.
weird cat. Keeps going back and forth. Can't make up his not up his mind. So I guess he's leaving the premises. Gonna get another fight, I guess. Okay, folks, I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.